Video, I will teach you how to correct three errors. The first of them is this error here of the Elementor tab, which when you go to a tab and then come back, they are all grouped here in a single line. And the second is this hyphenation here, which is when you use the Kava theme and it is in the entire text extension. And another thing that is happening, at least for now, in this version of Elementor, which is the following. When you put it here on mobile, it doesn't have all the little buttons up here, which doesn't even make it a better usability for us, right? It's just what's active here, you see? And then the rest is down there, you see? Then you need to click, then it starts to show up here too. And then a lot of people don't like it. I also thought it wasn't very cool. Hey guys, how are you? This is Michaela from Simplifying Websites. Before I go to the tutorial, I'm going to ask you to leave a like on the video for you to subscribe to the channel, okay? I'm here on the Innovar and Nutrition website, which is an institutional website that I taught you to create on the channel with Elementor Free and Kava Theme. This Kava Theme is really cool because with it we can use the Elementor Free, and then it allows us to configure some parts of the blog, right? And a lot of people liked using it, but it has this little problem here. It's not even a mistake, it's a configuration of it, that it hyphenates the words, right? So it doesn't break the words when it doesn't fit here. It leaves a little hyphen here. And people don't like it. I think it's super weird. So I created a code here to be able to prevent this configuration, okay? So you will enter your website here. It will come up here and customize it. Look, I created this code. It's very small. If you want to stop and copy, it's this code here. If you really want to copy, it will be in the first comment fixed here in the video, okay? Then you will copy this code. It will come here, look, down there in CSS Additional. Then you will paste this code here. Then it will automatically disappear with this configuration. You click here to publish, okay? It's very simple, that's all. Now in this part here of the tabs issue, we have two settings to do. First, we have to come here, right? Come here in the pencil to select the tabs first. Then we see, you see, that each of the tabs has the container in here, you see? So, you have to come to each of these containers. Look, I'm going to come to this one, and then here it is in full width. We have to leave it in boxed, you see? Then you come in all. When it's in boxed, it doesn't give this error. Look, it comes in this one, too. And in this one, too. And then just update it. Let's test it. Look, I'm going to reload here. I go here. If I go back, it remains normal because there is no longer this total width configuration. And another thing that is happening, at least for now, in this version of Elementor, which is the following. When you put it here on mobile, it doesn't have all the buttons up here, which is not even a better usability for us, right? It's just what's active here, you see? And then the rest is down there, you see? Then you need to click. Then it starts to show up here, too. And then a lot of people don't like it. I also thought it wasn't very cool. And then we found a code on this guy's website, which is Web Squadron. He even has a video talking about it, too. He created a code. I'll leave his link here for you in the comments if you want to go to his website. And if you want to get the code we created, because we adapted it, because it had some settings, we adapted it to make it better for ours. So, if you want to get what we've already configured, it's here in the first comment of the video, too, okay? Then you will do the following. You will come here, go to Advanced. CSS customized, then you will copy the code, which is this big code here. I'll leave it for you in the comment. Then you will paste and update. I'm going to reload the page now. Look, you see, they all stay up here. You don't have to keep the buttons down there, which makes it difficult to use, right? So that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, leave that like here in the video. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media. A hug. See you next time.